Welcome to the summer solstice. Yes, my friends, it's here once again, and this is a powerful week in our lives. What we're doing today is going to go through a very short ritual and flow dream that I would love for you to do, use, or play at some point this week. The idea of the solstice in our lives is to remind us that just as the sun is reaching its zenith, the longest day of the year, we too are striving to reach those peak points in our own lives, those moments when we go big, when we blaze, when we are seen, when everything is clear and illuminated. That is the energy that I want you to bring into yourself, bring into your life, into all the situations in your life this week. And we're going to go do it together right now. Flow dreaming, still kind of woo-woo, is just what it sounds like. An escape into the world of woo. Also, a ride into you. And how to feel happier, wiser, and more self-aware in every way. It's your ultimate journey into personal growth and inner power. We'll explore ideas like how your energy self influences the kinds of opportunities you encounter, or how your personal growth can drive your business growth, or even how that feeling of being stuck is really always coming from something else. We just have to figure out what. That's right. We're a dash of woo-woo, a sprinkle of self-care, a heap of problem-solving and pattern-busting, and a giant cup of encouragement. We're going to relight so much passion, purpose, self-love, and confidence in you that you practically stagger. I'm Summer McStravick, your host, and welcome to Flow Dreaming, still kind of woo-woo. Well, my loves, thank you for being here with me today and for doing this gorgeous summer solstice ritual. If you don't know, I actually do live workshops every single month. I have a mastermind, the Flow Dreaming Mastermind, and we spend about an hour and a half actually doing certain rituals and flow dreams to really anchor energy, move energy, expand energy, etc. So I was inspired to, you know, take a page from this month's mastermind, our summer solstice uh, ceremony. It's called the Full Strawberry Moon Summer Solstice Manifesting Workshop and give you all a little taste of it. Now, something even more special in today's episode. I'm actually going to be taking one of the flow dreams from my library, one of the most popular ones, actually. It's called Going Big. And we're going to experience it together here in today's episode because it is just so, so perfect for capturing the energy of the solstice and for bringing that energy into our lives. Now, before we jump into this beautiful and short ritual that I'm going to encourage you to do this week, I want to remind you, not only do I have the mastermind, but... I do work with you one-on-one -on -one privately. Reach out. This is the time of the year to get that started. I also do private readings for you. I read other people's minds. I read your flow. I read your direction. I can see the things that are blocking you, holding you back, the things that need adjusting, and so on. If you're curious, again, please reach out. I have cleared my summer to do a lot of these one-on-one -on -one privates with you, and you can find those at flowdreaming.com. Now, with that, let's jump into the coolness of the summer solstice manifesting ritual, or should I say, the hotness. <laughs> it's not the winter, it's the summer one. So, our key words for the summer solstice, what it means energetically, emotionally, spiritually for ourselves, we are looking at the words clarity illumination, fullness, peakness or passion, and really growth at its zenith. And think about the characteristics of the sun, the, the one day of the year that it dominates the sky for the longest period. 
It is illuminating everything. It is lighting things up. It is making things transparent and visible. It's also huge. It's the longest brightness there is. These are energies or ideas or really metaphors for the kind of energy you want to be acknowledging in your own life. I'm a big fan of piggybacking on natural energies, the rhythms of nature, uh, the rhythms of physics and science and patterns and so forth. And this is one that I hope you won't miss. So keep these words in mind. Now, here is the ritual. I'm going to get straight to it because uh, the flow dream is going to take about 15 minutes and I don't want to have you here forever. The first thing I'd like you to do is get yourself a beautiful candle. Now, it could be any candle, frankly, your favorite scented candle. It could be blue or green or white or preferably gold. If you can find a gold or yellow candle that really embodies the essence of fire and the sun, that is the best. Now, you're going to light that candle. Just let it clear some space. Acknowledge as you do that this candle is like the sun. It is illuminating. It is lighting up the space around you. Traditionally, of course, people would have a bonfire. They'd have a beach bonfire or a campfire in the woods. For some reason, outdoor fires are preferable to indoor ones on the summer solstice. I can only imagine it's because the sun is outdoors in the sky. And we want to emulate that feeling of life and brightness. Now, every fire has two sides. One, it illuminates, right? It, it, it tells you something is big and can go bigger. It can be a raging forest fire. Please, we don't want to create those, but... That's the idea. It can go as big as it possibly can. If there is enough fuel in your life, it can grow and grow and grow. This is exactly the energy that we want for certain things in your life that you have been trying to grow, that you have been trying to take to their peak or their zenith. Now, the opposite, of course, is that fire destroys. Fire burns away. Fire clarifies by taking away things that no longer work for you, that you no longer need, that you no longer want. And this isn't a taking away like it's being pulled from you. This is a blessing like, look, I have all this garbage piled up in the back of the, you know, the house and all this old debris. It's time to set it on fire and just get rid of it. Because if I keep this garbage around, it's going to draw rats and it's going to stink and it's just going to be unhealthy, right? <laughs> you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know if you ever had to burn trash heaps as a kid. I did. I lived in a, a rural place. Um, but the idea is you want some things to be gone. And this is what we lovingly also cast into the fire. So light a candle and give a moment to pause. What am I taking to the peak in my life? What am I asking to use the fuel that everything I've created to really go big with? Now, I want you to journal on this as well. Think about it if you can. I mean, if you're listening right now, maybe you're driving and you can't, but if you can journal on this, that's even better, even better. Next, I want you to journal on something that can be burned away, something that should be gone, should have been gone days, weeks, months, years ago. Now, maybe it's lack thinking or scarcity. Maybe it's feelings about yourself that you've outgrown that just don't fit anymore, that just make you feel bad and upset. You want to let those go too. Reflect on this and if you can, journal on it. Now, after this, I want you to repeat what I call an invocation. An invocation is really just a sacred script when you read from the Bible, you're reading invocations, sacred scripts. You are looking to words that embody something bigger than you, that raise your vibration, that raise your thinking up to a different state. So I have invocations that I've built around different solstices and equinoxes and different moments of our lives. And 
I'm going to read one to you now and just let it sink in and move through you. An invocation for the summer solstice. The sun. A radiant orb of golden light. Yes, we gather beneath your warm embrace as you reach the zenith of your journey across the sky. In this moment of solstice magic, on the longest day of the year, we are attuned to you and the rhythm of the universe, feeling this gentle ebb and flow of energy that dances through the cosmos, dances through the sky, and dances through us. As you stand proudly at your highest point, casting your brilliance on this earth, we honor the cycle of life and our perpetual motion of existence, just as the tides rise and fall with the pull of the moon, so does the creation and destruction in our lives, as symbolized by you, the sun, at your peak place in our sky. Today, I am at my own zenith as well. I'm full to overflowing. I'm fierce and growing. And yet, I also allow anything I've outgrown or which doesn't feel good anymore to burn away. Old feelings about myself, old scarcity or lack thinking, stale situations. It's my choice what I let go of. May this solstice be a time of celebration, renewal, a moment to release all which no longer serves me and to welcome in the blessings of this fruitful season. I revel in the beauty of the earth, adorned in her summer splendor, sparkling, radiant rays of light through the sky. As I too dance in harmony with the rhythms of this creation. Amen. Blessed be. If you let yourself really fall into those words, you can feel something bigger tugging on you. And that's the energy that we want to allow. That golden chariot crossing the sky. We want to be right on the back of it, letting it lead us. Now, I'm going to play for you a flow dream that, yes, you can find in my shop at flowdreaming.com or in my app if you want to have a copy that you can just scroll through and play anytime. Again, it's one of my most popular ones. It's called Going Big. But before we jump in, there's a few others that are also really, really appropriate. Absolute Inner Confidence is a great one. Assertive and clear, strong, healthy boundaries, beyond fear, my future self, super juicy gratitude, and the yellow brick road of yeses. They are all excellent. They embody this feeling. So if you already own someone and they're in your library, just pull them out. Listen all week. Gather this energy around you, in you, and through you. And if you're curious, yes, flow dreams are a bit like guided meditations, but they're actually energy activations. They're a bit different, as you'll discover right now as we jump into Going Big. Going Big, a flow dream. My eyes close and I drift. I breathe deeply in and hold for three. Exhaling slowly. I allow my forehead to relax and my jaw loosens. 
my neck relaxes and my shoulders drop. I take another deep breath as I allow my chest to fully expand and my stomach to release. I feel good. I'm releasing into a daydream, a powerful, effective daydream. One that creates new information in the universe and in my life. I'm sculpting reality with everything I feel. And what I feel is a sensation of skating. Skating powerfully forward gliding strong and fast along a perfect forward path. There's no thinking of where I'm going, only a sense that I've aligned to something pure and perfect, a straightaway that arcs forward through time and space into my future. I'm powerfully aligned to this, zooming with it. This energy that I'm skating on, connected to, feels smooth and filled with power. Nothing stops it or gets in its way. It's so pure and rich and good somehow. I could stay in this feeling forever. Yet this powerful flow of energy slows me to a graceful stop and I notice the scene around me everywhere I see diagrams and plans blueprints it's like sources workshop God's workshop the universe's workshop and they look as if they were made of strands of light strung together or diamonds connected in intricate patterns and paths. Some even look like old-fashioned blueprints printed on paper. But the designs on them seem to leap off the pages, taking life in the air above them. And I realize I've reached the place deep in my flow where dreams come together. Dreams. I've reached the place where no one has said no yet to a possibility, a potentiality. Everything is possible here. It's just a matter of aligning the A to the B to the C to get there. Everything truly is on the table. And I wander among these lighted blueprints table after table filled with them and they're all mine all of them they're mine they're all in various states of becoming all in different areas of my life over there there are my intimate relationships and there look that's my career I see it here's my family oh those those are my friends and my health is just over there in each area I feel how my future is taking shape in them I can feel it taking shape being put together before my eyes and I know I know that I can step in and change it guide it adjust it all it takes is my awareness and intention to sink into them. I'm the master architect. No one else but me. Me. My life. My future. My destiny. Normally, all these plans would just, oh, complete themselves in the background, taking cues from my daily actions, feelings, and ideas as they develop themselves into people, events, situations in my future, but I'm here now to give more guidance than that. I'm feeling like I want to go big. And there are one or two things, especially right now, that I want to take the lid off of and allow something truly wondrous and big to take shape in. 
I feel these lids coming off right now as I say, what if to myself as I spin and twirl in this majestic place of flow and light and energy and power and creation, I say, what if? And I can fill in any phrase or idea or longing or situation after that what if. What if I? What if this? feel them now. What if I let go? I let go. And I don't go small with this. I what if about things that I have no idea how they could come true. What if about things and states of emotion, ways I want to feel in certain areas of my life that seem like they could never realistically happen, but I am refusing any ceiling or lid or limitation or even logic right now. This is about feeling and letting my flow go, letting it go, create for me, create for me, solve it for me, present the opportunities for me. What if, what if? What if? And again, I fill it in with the emotion. My what ifs form the background song that my future dances to. I let go of all practical, rational thoughts about getting to my what ifs. And I just let them take flight. One or two big ones again right now. Here they go. Here they are. I feel them. And then I feel, I feel how some of these what ifs, it's like this energy falls back to the ground, like firecrackers in the sky, except these don't disappear. No, they sink. They sink deep into the fertile ground of my flow. They sink in and they begin to stir and sprout. Oh, yes, my life is ready for them. It's rich, it's waiting for them. And I'm seeing these beautiful, remarkable conclusions to things. I'm seeing amazing synergies that position me exactly where I want to be in life. I see myself stepping up in a huge way, moving up like I'm moving up a whole level in a building. I'm feeling a sensation right now of a great glass elevator moving swiftly and securely up, up, up I go. Oh, no limits, no holdbacks. Oh, flow, flow I feel. Get me as close to this feeling as you can in my life. Bring me there, I'm ready. Go on, what if me, what if me? Find ways, find solutions, find supports. Gather whatever's needed, position it all for me. I'm achieving or experiencing something truly life-changing and extraordinary. My happiness is upon me. I'm here, receiving it. And I can no longer even say that's not possible. Because flow is proving to me right now that it is possible. I can't get away with saying that anymore. I look back on all the smaller, lesser, more so-called realistic dreams I had, and I wonder how I ever let myself justify them. Because flow is moving me the very best feelings in my life, if I dare to name them. And the very best people, opportunities, situations, feelings, health, everything. And why should it be any other way? I feel all this in motion now, like a great engine that's begun humming. All I needed to do was throw the lever to turn it on. Mm, I feel myself throwing that big lever now. Easy. There goes. It opens me to going big. Whatever that means to me. It's the feeling. Big. No top. A higher level. 
Maybe it means no longer ever restricting myself by thinking small anymore. Maybe it means making a huge impact somehow. Maybe it means growing something into its most beautiful point. Maybe it means finding my own inner calling and allowing it to expand and grow with no limits. No, none of my fears can hold it back. No, not what's happening inside me. My flow is nourishing me and nurturing me. Like a parent might nourish and nurture a child's talent. It's offering me what I need, when I need it. And I don't even need to know what that is. I just step into it every day when I wake up. But I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that right now. I'm feeling myself again on that elevator up, 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 up. I'm at a much higher level in my life. I'm where everything I need comes to me. And where my challenges are not how to get things, but what will I do with what I've been given? I'm a light with excitement and a tremendous sense of power. My what ifs are a huge stream, and it becomes a fun, joyful game to play them all out. I'm playing. Things happen to me that no one expects, but I know. I know why they did. I'm meeting people everyone is astonished I'd meet, but I know. I'm going places and asked to be part of things that amaze others, but I know. I've got material surroundings that other people dream of, but I know why they came to me. And how easy they were once I allowed them in without fear. I have relationships that other people want to emulate, that they aspire to have, because they're so intimate and open and real and connected. I have health. I have money. I have connectedness to myself, to source. I give and receive in the world so fluidly, so elegantly. I have time. I have freedom from stress. Anything, anything, anything on my what if list. Any of my previously so called impossible ideas, well, they're here now. And they're sitting in my lap like purring kittens or happy puppies. And I shake my head in wonder, thinking that I ever felt they were far from me. And this is when it fully, fully comes to me. All my past limits were there because I allowed them to be. All those ceilings I hit, they were never because of other people or circumstances or anything else, any other limitation that I used to justify them with or rationalize them with in my life. No. They were never there because they had to be. There was never any rule that they had to be. They were there because I'd accepted them as real. And then I went about working to justify and explain them. But I've just raised those ceilings. I've busted right through them. I can have, be, or do anything. Thinking big becomes my nature. Flow is my nature. And this connectedness. Is my nature. And in the days and weeks ahead, more and more ideas come to me, more and more things come to nourish me, support me, lift me, put me onto the new track. My flow is giving this to me, and there is no way I will ever resist. I am all in, I am going big. And I feel my daydream ending now as I return back to my waking life, present, knowing I've just created 
powerful new direction and energy through my entire being. Three, two, one. Eyes open. Well, my friends, how do you feel? A flow dream should make you feel energized. It should make you feel changed. You've just added in certain new emotions and expectations into your being. The beauty of this practice is that as you do these over and over, they become more and more part of you. It's one of the only ways I know to actually reshape who you are. I have reshaped parts of my own being, my personality over the decades, moving more and more away from scarcity and lack and fear and more into ownership and clarity and focus. Again, if you love this, please think about grabbing it at the shop at flowdreaming.com. It's in the playlist, Ready to Go Big. I also have a bunch of others that are appropriate, like Confident or Essential Flow Dreams, which is really a best of collection with ones like Action Action or Crystal Clarity, Emotional Ecstasy, The Yellow Brick Road of Yeses. Some of these, of course, I mentioned earlier. These all embrace, embody this beautiful, gorgeous growth energy. And last, before you go, if you would take a moment to rate this podcast, that that would just tickle me to no end. It is one of the most powerful things that you can do. Finally, I am here, as I mentioned before, if you would like a custom generated flow dream for you, for your life, to go in there and do the energy work, for me to look around, see and share with you everything I can see about your life, again, reach out, visit me at flowdreaming.com, and I would be delighted, absolutely delighted to work with you, whether just one time or all year round. It's what I do, what I've been doing for a good 20 years, and it's really powerful and effective. All right, my darlings, my friends, my dears, happy, happy summer solstice, and may all the blessings of life and the universe source and God be with you as you go forward into your days. I love to work with you one-on-one. I get to see the most exponential growth and those of you who work with me privately every month. I'm part coach, part mentor, part energy worker, and intuitive. What I do is beyond traditional coaching in many ways, since I add in all kinds of information you wouldn't normally have access to and the results speak for themselves. I have hundreds of glowing testimonials. You can read for yourself at my website or just reach out and ask me. We begin working together with an assessment of your life, what you want, and where you've been, where you're going. We focus deeply on patterns, blocks, and what you plan to achieve or become next within yourself and within your life. Last, we're going to carry your desires right into the heart of the universe by flow dreaming together as I lead you in every session with a personalized, customized flow dream. You're going to end up with dozens of these plus a plan. Now you've got two options. You can either take me for a test run with an introductory private session, or we can just jump in and explore what a longer relationship working together would do for your life. Just visit flowdreaming.com, search for private sessions, and I really look forward to meeting you.